Hello, Gunners. I'm coming at you with a video I did not think I was going to make. Um, I am... I was going to um, just tell you, because I know you may have seen my video earlier that I got a G3C Toro. And uh, I was going to expect to dial it in and tell you tell you how it did, how accurate it is. And as that was my plan. And I was going to mount um, the red dot that came with it, with it. And so I was at the range about 50, 100 rounds in, I want to say. Dialing it in some more. I uh, noticed my red dot it's a Bushnell, and I think it's a, no one, it's a, I think it's about 130 bucks or so on its own. So, um, my red dot flew off, flew off at me, it, and it landed and it broke. So, I cannot use that red dot anymore. Glass broke, flew off, and I know sometimes when you have red dot pistols that can happen especially if you don't have metal plates but the ones that come with the toro are metal they're they're metal i didn't think there should be anything wrong with them um so i thought hey maybe it's a flute maybe it's the optic you know buy once cry once but i also mounted my trictacon on here and it flew off thank god it didn't break so needless to say i am a little hesitant about putting my uh, 400 dollar red dot back on here because it survived the first time thankfully but um i don't know if i want to risk that again now I know that Taurus did come out with the G3 Tactical. I did take a look at that. Um, it comes with the Cerakoted Toro slide, so they and suppressor height sights. They didn't change anything other than that. So I am running my Toro, as you can see, just without a red dot. I'm just running it as a regular G3C. I mean, it's fine like that and uh, luckily I have other options to use a red dot with but if you are thinking about going red dot this might not be the option for you I mean great um, affordable uh, duty home carry option but maybe if you want to jump into red dot I don't know if it's the recoil or what I just just knew I'm out of red dot and I was almost out two of them so um and as you know I'm a tourist fan some of my most of videos are about tourists and <laughs> GPC so I do like them um quality the control has really improved from what I hear and but for some reason, this just just was not just was not working for me. Um, I'd prefer to run this one uh, without a red dot. So after uh, trying to dial it in and test and zero it out, it was not working for me. Um, Mr. Bushnell was not wanting to to get to zero or hold it, and it eventually flew off. And um, my Chichicon flew off now. I'm sure you're probably wondering, did I put Loctite on it? And I did. Um, so I am not sure, but the screws that go with my Chichicon are now kaput. So um, after it flew off, trying to, I was trying to get it out of there. But um, so I put the, the, so just a regular plate black on and these screws are fine and 
uh, this one will, I guess, it's a, just a 130 base optic and it wasn't holding it. I don't know if it's the recoil or what. It just, it just was not liking it. You know, maybe the G3 Tactical would handle it better. I don't know if the Red Dot is just too, because you think the G3 is longer slide. So, I mean, it's right there. So, I, I don't know if that might be a little something to do with it or if it would manage the recoil better because then with the longer barrel, you'd have more um, more room. So, maybe uh, less recoil with that. I don't know. It just, it just not was not working the way I wanted with the G3C. So maybe with the G3 Toro, G3 Tactical, I don't know, but I'm hesitant to run this with the red dot. So I just thought I'd let you all know that. Uh, cards on the table. <laughs> I was trying to uh, make a video to tell you how, how great that was and if my optic was accurate and I can't tell you that. I wouldn't know. So, but other than that, I expect the same G3C performance out of out of this. I'm just not going to run it with my red dot. So, but thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you all later. Keep shooting.